And welcome back, everybody. The Orlando Science Center has a brand new exclusive exhibit, one of the only of three sites in the entire country. This exhibit explores the immortal city, better known as Pompeii. And Fox 35's David Martin is joining us live. He's at the Orlando Science Center this morning with more on what you can expect if you head over there. Hi, David. Hey, David. Good morning, Amy. Hello, Danielle. The ruins of Pompeii are near Naples, Italy today, okay? Now, the ruins happened back in 79 AD when Mount Vesuvius, the volcano, erupted. It was a catastrophic eruption and it decimated the city. That's what you need to know. Thousands dead, buried under ash and lava. And then the story remains today as just the remains. I've got my friend Aubrey Coates here from the Orlando Science Center. Aubrey, good morning to you. Good morning to you, David. All right, this villa you're standing next to is very typical of what the what the people lived in and worked in back in the year 79, right? right? And I want people to know that the, the lava, the, the ash that came from Mount Vesuvius, that piled up on them was at least 20 feet high in some cases, mm -hmm. which would at least cover even the double stories of these villas. Do I have that right? Uh, yes, definitely. Um, it would have been much uh, taller than you would have expected, completely covering homes, building, large statues. And speaking of statues, you've got actual statues from Pompeii from the year 79 here on exhibit. I want to touch, but I can't. That is history <laughs> right there. Tell me a bit about what we're looking at. This is the statue of Artemis, the goddess of the hunt. Um, now, as you see, the statue is completely white right now, but actually back in 79 AD when it was fresh, new, and beautiful, it actually would have been colored, um, completely colored and really beautiful and radiant. Since then, the f colors have just faded a little bit. But if you come in and you look a little bit closely at her shoulder and her sleeve, you're actually going to be able to see some of the traces of those original colors. Wow. And this was excavated who knows in what year, but because because Pompeii has been excavated multiple times in the past nearly 2,000 years. Do I have that right? Yes. It actually took a while for us to first excavate Pompeii while it was under all of the ash and rock. Yeah. Um, they, they weren't really aware anything was under there until they did get that first excavation. Well, I want to show them the bread. Actually, that's behind you, Paolo. You've got all kinds of unique things from, from the ruins, including what bread well this is an actual loaf of bread that basically was encased in ash yes it got so burnt that it was actually turned into a literal piece of carbon almost like um, a piece of coal you put on your grill so that is completely carbonized bread but that's a pretty standard model what it would have looked like with the um eight different slices in it and yeah. you can see it gets its own vip treatment its yeah. own room here yeah. and that's just to keep uh, any kind of lights from damaging it or making it fade. Very good. You have a lot of things protected behind glass here. But the last room in the exhibit is the one that I imagine gets people to stop and just ponder life because, well, I'll let you explain what we're looking at. So these are two um, casts. Uh, these are actually casts of the original body cast of two of the victims of Pompeii. Um, and this room just really puts it in perspective for you, really makes you think um, about what it would have been like to live back then to go through that experience. Well, so yeah, I mean, they knew the eruption was coming, and a lot of them tried to protect themselves, obviously in some form or fashion, covering themselves up, but this didn't work, obviously, because the That's heat right. of the lava would have killed them instantaneously if the ash suffocation did not. So <laughs> this is really a uh, somber scene here. Uh, more than, what, 1,500 people died, and many got out, but many did not. Yes, many tried to leave at first. Um, when some realized that wasn't an option, they tried to take cover in buildings but as you mentioned between just the lava the buildings collapsed and just massive amounts of like smoke and dust that yeah. would have just been very difficult to breathe in so much to learn here orlando science center reservations are required to see this exhibit but it's part of your daily ticket what's the website for all the information aubrey www.osc.org slash pompeii all right amy and danielle will send it back to you incredible it looks great, David. Thank you. Coming up next in our next half hour with just over a week to go, there are important election deadlines that are coming up. Still ahead, we're going to break down the dates. You're going to have to keep in mind. We'll be back with that right after this.